Hello and uh, welcome back. Today I have a handheld multimeter and it's from Tektronics. And Tektronics is well known for its oscilloscope, so I didn't even know that uh, they did make uh, handhelds. Although I did have uh, a bench multimeter, I think it was the CDM250. And in that same series I found also a signal generator. Well, Tektronics also was busy with, uh, with uh, buying a lot of other companies because they also bought the Kidley company and maybe they saw that maybe Kidley will make one. Although I also don't know too. I only know from Kidley this little handheld. So that is also not the story why they stopped doing it. Maybe they saw it. Everyone wants a yellow one. Anyway, I don't know. But I thought I haven't seen them uh, too much. So, uh, and I found this one on the local eBay as well. And uh, I said, well, let's just have a look if it is uh, just as good as their other devices. Well, it turns out it is not just that they made one. They actually, I've had a little flyer. I can't see the year, but they actually made eight models at least. And, uh, well, they made four. They are all three and a half digits. It's just, uh, in that sense, it's just a regular. Uh, Handheld, but they made them uh, the four usual ones that have uh, 2,000 counts, and they have the the better models that have 4,000 counts, and some have uh, added then uh, capacity, temperature, and, and it goes all the way up until the the best version here is 0.1% uh, of basic accuracy. So this is the flyer I talk about, and you can see the 155, this is the one I have here, is actually the, the most basic version you can get, so I probably pay a little bit uh, too much for it. But I really wanted one, because it is Tektronics and I have not seen it before. So uh, I need to see if it's even working. But uh, yeah, it is the, the rugged version, so it has a nice cover as well. So before we open it, let's have a look if the basic functions work. It's made in Taiwan. I don't see any year also, so maybe. Well, I'm getting my uh, LBO2A. You see it more and more in my videos because it is so convenient to have it. So let me try again to get just the basic functions, we start with the voltage. Okay, let's see the basic functions. I have here the voltage and it can do AC as well as DC. And this is a nice option. If you, if you put it in the wrong connection, it starts to beep. It doesn't beep on the milliamps, but it did beep on the 10 amps. Well, let's put uh, one volt in it. Well, it uh, agrees. Can you? Yeah, you can see the display. Good, so that works. Uh, let's get AC later. We can try the ohms. Okay, overload is, oh, that is not that well visible, but it is uh, zero, can we do ohms here, let's get the uh, 50 ohms. Mm, yes, 50 ohms, 100. Okay, let me get the thousand. Thousand seems to work, not even that bad. I don't know how old, how <coughs> old it is. And here is another ohm setting that is times 10. It starts from 2 max and up. Okay. Then we have the continue. That works. We have current. 
And let's see if the current works. Current doesn't seem to work. There is no connection. And I also noticed when I put air, it didn't start to beep. I need to, of course, also need to put the correct, correct one here. No, but it is not there. working. And here it is, but it is the wrong plug. They might have blown a fuse. Yeah, the, it's not 24 milliamps, the 10 amps works and the lower settings don't, so probably a fuse is uh, blown there. Let me see if I can test AC on this meter. I have my DMM check plus also, and but it is fixed 5 volt, but it can do also AC. So let me check. I have now my 5 volts. Okay, and if I switch it over to AC. Yes, I probably need to switch it over here also. Yes, here I have. Okay, the AC is off. It is now on 100 hertz, I think. And if I switch it over, it will go to 10k. Yeah, then it's a lot. Okay, well, AC works, but it is... Uh, Oh, it actually does look strong with this cover and it also has an integrated stand which I like because you can just leave it. You can put your your plugs here in the in the side just like you find with the Flukas and the, and the Bremen. And uh, well, let's just uh, open it up. Well, I'm not sure if I even gave you a close look so I'll zoom a little bit. And here we see it's tech DMM 155. We have range buttons, but I just kept it on outer ranging the AC DC button and an offset. I think that's kind of the relative uh, mode and then hold button and all your settings right here. And even without the cover, it looks uh, quite uh, strong. Let's see if it's easy to open. Well, it looks like there is just one screw. And it should be easy to open because you need to replace the battery. And oh yes, it does open very easy. Here we have our bosom. And it has a 9 volt battery. For some that is a, an absolute no go but yeah you see it more and more nowadays i think the capacity of these newer nine volts are also better than the, than in the past and i actually hoping to find a fuse yeah here is a fuse there is a fuse so is it just one screw or is it not a screw at all it looks to me only to be fixed on the Terminators of the amps setting. So, hmm. or does it just go out completely? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it was in the off setting, I think. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is what I stole from Fluke. If I need to believe that EV block and okay so this I should not have untied okay that one is working it's the 10 amp here we have the 1 amp, and the 1 amp is not working. Yeah. Okay, so we can replace the 1 amp. Busman seems very German, but it's made in England. And 
I need probably exactly one that is right at one amp, but I think this is a slow. But because it's for the lower range, I think I will have a fast. Fused, fused, fused. So there is also a 2 milli, 200 milliamps somewhere. If this one is fused with, maybe I find it in the manual. No, it really seems the one amp is okay. It says you need a one amp fuse, 600 uh, volts, and the other fuse is 13 amps, 600 volts. Even though in the first range it's up to 200 millis, they still use one amp fuse. And for the 10, they use 13. So then I think I probably need a fast, uh, fast reacting fuse. So let's see what I have. I do have a bunch of fuses. I bought these uh, these boxes from China. So I always have the right value and I have them slow and fast and big and small. And the ones with the scent inside are usually the slow ones. So I will take a glass one because I want it fast because if the maximum is 200 milliamps and I put the slow fuse for uh, one amp I, I'm afraid I will uh, burn my circuit, so I prefer to put one. They, it does look a little bit bigger, so it are special fuses. So I, well, I was not aware, but apparently multimeter fuses are different. Well, I know because of the scent, but also the size, because here I have a normal one, and here I have a normal big one, but this one is exactly in between. Yeah, so let's see if I have something in my mixed. Well, I can't find the correct fuse, so I need to look in Ali if I can find this. But yeah, I have the good value. The small one is really too small, but the bigger one seems to fit, so I will use the bigger one then. So I'm also cleaning it a little bit and I'm looking now at the chips and uh, I see here on this one it is 95 week 20 and this one is 95 week 22. So in the end it's not that old. Uh, wait, it is more than 20 years. 25. So it is old. Let's put it back to Fed and see if all the ranges work. So after a good clean, it looks a lot better. And uh, what we can see now, if the if all the current ranges now are working. So let's uh, make the same mistake as before. We put it to the milliamps and then we stick it in the... If you stick it in the wrong value, it starts to peep. That now works. And if you set it to voltage, so that is now good. So first try the on the 200 milliamps, let's get again the, put it to 4 milliamps. And it is 4 milliamps. A little bit higher. 10, that is 10. Now let's go to the lower. Here we have one milliamp. You can see it is quite a resolution. It's just not doing the two, so it's in the 2000 counts. And on the setting here, we can just continue. Perfect.
Well, I was just thinking 95 is not that old because it doesn't sound that long ago, but it's actually more than 25 years. And then I think for 25 years, actually, this was probably quite a modern machine because I forgot that I need to look back where this one was from. That was maybe 80s. But this one looks so much more modern already. So uh, I think it was actually a nice uh, catch. I really didn't see one before. Luckily the fix was easy, just the uh, just the fuse. I will try to look for the official fuse because this one is only rated for 250 volts in original. You have the 600 volt ones, but I'm probably not going to use it for 600 volts, so I also don't mind too much. But uh, happy with the result. Uh, if you have a service manual for this, or you know which pot is for what, because I saw two little uh, pot meters. And well, there are not that many combinations, but I don't want to make it worse as it is. So if you have a service manual or you just have a description of the two pots, which one does what, I will be happy to find it and I can do my final uh, adjustments. And uh, thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time.